Okay. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to talk about ratios and proportions. Okay? Nadia, what's a ratio? What's a ratio? Hmm. I know how it looks like, but I don't know. What do you, what, describe one to me. I mean, a ratio is a comparison. Ratio is it's a comparison. For instance, let's say in the class, let's say there are, are five boys and five or five girls. Correct? Can we say that? Now, does it matter if you say boys to girls or girls to boys? No. Does that matter? It's the same. Are they equal? Yes. No. They're equivalent. Yes. They're equivalent. Equal versus These are equivalent. They're equivalent. Yes? What are they both equal? They're both equal one. Yeah. One boy to girl or one girl to boy. But it's still one, right? So, but this is comparing girls to boys and this is boys to girls. But they're really the same. They're equivalent ratios. Correct? Okay, now. So, it's a comparison. Yes? Now, let's say that the ratio of boys to girls in all the classes in the school were 5 to 5, or which equals 1 to 1. One boy over one girl. Is that, is that okay? Yes? No. Let's say that uh, we had six new students. Six new students. Now, if this average was correct, if we had six new students, how many boys and how many girls would there be? If, there was if you had six new total students, how many of those six are going to be girls and how many of them are going to be boys? Maybe two of them would be girls. No. What's the ratio? One on one. One to one. One boy to one girl. Right? So if there's six new students, how many boys and how many girls do you think they're going to be? Three. Three of each, right? So there's going to be 11. It'll be 11 boys over 11 girls, right? Are those numbers equal? Sure. Eleven, 5 over 5 equals 11 over 11, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Right? Easy. One one. Yeah. yeah, they're equal. Right? Now, let's say, let's say you have a class and I tell you, Nadia, I have a class with 66 boys. I have a class with 66 boys in the school. I want to know, I want to know, how many girls are there going to be, do you think? 66. 66. How'd you get that? If it's one to one, numerator equals denominator, right? Yes, 66. Or you could say 11 times 66 divided by 11. I'm going to expand on that in a second, but isn't that true? Cross multiply and divide, right? Yes? yes? Okay. So, so what is a, what is a proportional relationship? What is a proportional a ratio is comparing comparison of concepts or ratios of or ideas, right? What's a proportion? It's a comparison. What are you comparing though? 
five boys over five girls equals 11 boys over 11 boys. So aren't you going to be comparing ratios? Right? It's comparing ratios, isn't it? So a ratio is comparing ideas or concepts. A proportion is comparing ratios. ratios. Okay, now. Let me do something that I did with you while we were waiting for the camera to get ready, okay? And that is this. Let's say I have a proportional relation. Okay? Yeah? And I want to solve for A. It's always cross multiply and divide. Cross multiply and divide. Correct? Sorry. Wasn't it B? Yes, I just, yes, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Some technical difficulties. A over B equals C over D. And I want to say A equals cross multiply and divide. Clear? Cross, multiply, and divide. So what's A going to equal? Uh, B, C, B, C, C over D. D, right? Right? Yes. And what's B going to equal? A times D over C. And what's, what's C going to equal? A times D over B. Right? Yeah. Okay. And what does D equal? B times C over A. Right? You get it? Now let's do this a little bit more thoroughly. Let's say, let's say that I want to solve this, this relationship, right? So I cross multiply and I say AD equals BC. Clear? So if I want to get rid of, if I want to get, if I want to get A by itself, I'm dividing by D, both sides by D, right? So the D's cancel and I'm left with A equals BC over D. Isn't that what I said? Okay. Now, if I, if I said to myself, okay, all right, let me say this, same thing. A, D over B, C, I want to get B alone, I divide through by C. Correct? Yes? Mm -hmm. If I want to get C alone, divide through by B. Right? If I want to get D alone, A, right? Yes? You see that? Yeah. See that? Yeah. Okay. So, that we'll call this particular video um, kind of like an introduction to ratios and proportions, okay? Very quick overview, yeah? Um, I'm going to come back and we're going to do a few problems, okay? All right, be right back.